so I know it's been like forever and ever and ever, but I have promise I haven't forgotten about you guys. Um, just been really busy with, you know, daily, day-to-day -day life things and huge up and down work stuff and just business. I'm pretty sure you can tell it's taken a toll on my face. <laughs> Not really, but yeah, it's just been stressing me out. So, I mean, I have been doing some retail therapy, which... I've saved for you. Um, today is kind of going to be a haul, but I'm not going to call it that. It's going to be like some bath and body um, fall stuff and just like perfume, not perfume, but really good smelling, um, let's say scents for fall. So it'll be like like candles and some little bit of makeup stuff. So yeah, we're just going to do go with the bath and body um, fall logo or theme <laughs> and so I guess I'll just do a quick outfit of the day today because I'm about to leave to go to DJ Max. Um, I did my eyes kind of like Julie G inspired they're like um, blue and then like some smoky black stuff and then I haven't put anything on my lips but you would think my outfit's really crazy I have this J Crew cashmere striped sweater on and I have the Zara scarf, which I am in love with. I don't think it really goes, but, you know, no one's really going to care. <laughs> so I paired this little um, kind of Baroque-inspired safari scarf. And then I have this, like, kind of um, along this theme of that little brooch buckle that's kind of the same design as the scarf. I have that belt. And then um, I guess I'll have to get up here and show you. But I have this under, um, over, I mean, a dress. So it has this little cascading orange and black, really perfect for fall skirt. And then I have these, um, of course, my Madewell combat boots that I got from eBay and then my Club Monaco socks. So hope you like my outfit of the day. I know I haven't done one. Of, actually, I pretty much never do those. So that's a really good thing for you guys. But let's just jump into um, all this exciting stuff I have to show you. Um, really, I don't know if they changed their packaging, but it's really cute. And um, reminds me of a picnic basket. But let's just jump right into it. It's Ulta Bath and Body Works. And I think like one online thing. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. Okay, so I'll just start with, I guess, not the cosmetics. I'll say, I mean, the candles are saved that for last. So I got this um, Zoya 3-in-1 nail polish remover because I'm running out of the Equate, that huge jar that you soak the cotton, cotton balls in. And so my cousin has this purple one, and I got actually ordered this off of Amazon because it's a lot cheaper than going to the website, maybe by a couple dollars, and I wasn't just about to order this from their website and pay like $10 shipping. Um, so I just bulked this with like some books that I'll show you in another video. And it's just the Zoya 3-in-1 Nail Polish Remover. It's actually like, I believe Glamour or Marie Claire recommended as the best nail polish remover. And I think I only paid like $10 for this, and it has like a bonus. Um, refillable tube and it's supposed to not only take off your nail polish but to prime it for the next color you know whenever that is if you want to put on a different color and it's just really good at conditioning your nails that's all so it's a really cute packaging too um, it's kind of expensive for nail polish movers so I would if you do get this I would try you this is um, a CeraVe moisturizing lotion and Again, this is magazine recommended. I forget which one. Maybe it was like in style, but it, it's just a facial moisturizing lotion. I needed like a, an actual face one for during the day and not just a nighttime one before, you know, you put on your foundation because, you know, when everyone gets out of the shower, you, you girls know your skin gets so dry and you need to at least moisturize it so your foundation has something to adhere to. And the CeraVe one works really well. It's not greasy at all. It does come out a little bit of white because it has SPF in it, which I highly recommend anything. If you get moisturizer, it does get SPF. And this is, um, I don't think it's that cheap either. It's maybe like 10 or 12 bucks. Um, but it does have UVA and UVB protection, so double that. And I just love it. It feels really good on the skin. I know you can find a lot of CeraVe on, in the drugstore aisles of whatever store you go to. So this is really good to use. Okay, and then I got another deodorant because my ball one that I, I'm in love with all of the ball liquid deodorants that come out um, at TJ Maxx. 
And this one from Ulta was on sale. It was like on sale for five or six dollars, which you may think is really expensive for a deodorant, but it's really not. It's um by the Swedish brand um Tisser Band. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. And it says cooling deodorant. Um look where he took off the price tag, and it's lavender scented. And this is like super organic. It has like contains organic and ethically harvested stuff. So um, really love that supporting the environment. You kind of have to shake these little deodorant ball things if you know, or else you're gonna run out of it really fast. So um, just pick that up. Probably the last person in the world to pick this up because this has been around for maybe like a year or two, and it's part of last year's. I think like some magic or not magic it's like space cadet collection and I got this really gorgeous ruby oh my gosh wish I could just show you it has like ruby red orange like all these colors of the solar system in there <laughs> and I got in the color rocket right there so if you have any questions on that they didn't have any more of the collection on sale I think because they already sold out but this was on sale for $6.99 which is pretty expensive for early but just all of the little fine pigments in it are really, really, I don't know about you guys, but ever since August or September, I've been wanting new candles. I don't know if it's just like me or everyone. I know Tiffany D is over obsessing about candles and leaves, so I feel like I'm turning into her. But um, real quick before that, I got this um, greenhouse citrus and lavender relaxing bath salts, and this was um, actually not on sale. It was $8 at Marshall's. And I love the packaging. It looks super chic and um, kind of reminds me of like Kiehl. It's just very, very simple and modern looking. Love it. It's so cute. Um, I have this huge bathtub and I can't, I've already used it once and I tried to use up on my Lush stuff that I already have. But this one, it smells so pungent. Like when I mean pungent in a good way, actually that's not a good way. Citrus and lavender. It's like, it's, it's energizing and relaxing at the same time. So I feel like it does both of those tricks and you know it just says rejuvenates your tired skin it smells amazing I wish you could smell it but um oh my god it's just so strong and if you aren't familiar that's her how bath salts look right there I don't want to spill it out but it's so strong like I feel like if I bathe in this I'm gonna be super ready to conquer the world and um steady or something so I got this there was only like two so I don't know if this is a good brand or not but it looks cute World Journeys collection um, right there and this one is in the shade I'm not the shade the the set Hawaiian lay oh my god it does smell like Hawaii and y'all know I just got back from Hawaii so I'm super missing it right now and it's just a really cute purple shade um, I'm gonna put this in my bath room <laughs> um, because I do have a little bit of a teal and lavender theme and I feel like because I have like this tea um lavender room spray and have lavender bath salt so it's, I feel like I'm kind of going with the whole lavender theme so I mean this is really cute I believe this is limited edition all of the world journey candles are and it just smells so good it has that double wick and it was $7.99 as well so it just looks really cute packaging again you can put it on your counter or on your toilet whatever you prefer so um, I can't wait to burn that Okay, and then this other ginormous candle, I'm pretty sure I will put in the bathtub, bathtub too because, well not in the bathtub, that's not safe, but this one is also a World Journeys, it's a South African vineyard and it says that it's with pure grape seed extract and I got it because it smells like red wine, like if you mix like Welch's grape juice with red wine or sparkling wine together. Oh my gosh, it's just the perfect scent. And I love this rich um, purple shade. It just makes me want to go eat some grapes <laughs> and just be super antioxidant healthy. Um, this is a little bit more. It's like $2 more as the $10 candle because it's really big. But again, this looks really cute. And um, I highly suggest you checking out the candle selection. They always have new flavors. Or not flavors. Why do I keep saying that? New scents at TJ Maxx. So you should definitely go check it out. And it's um, they're just really cute and pretty. It makes me feel really southern if I have candles. Yeah. Okay, and then the last three are from Bath and Body Works. And the reason I went to Bath and Body Works, like I said, is because of Tiffany D. She um, collects the leaf scent. She like back stocks it in like in her house. Like she hoards leaves, leaf candles. Um, so I had to go check out whatever she was talking about. 
And she also mentioned this one um, flavor by the White Barn Candle Company, which is mahogany teakwood. And the store, the Bath and Body Works that I went to, they were like all sold out of like um, this size in like the room room sense. If you plug it in, they only had like two of the little like three ounce um, candle jars left. So the reason why I got this, and probably the reason why. Um, you it sold out is because it smells like the Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce scent and um for the longest time before when I was about to graduate high school a long time ago I wanted to get the Fierce Cologne and although I'm not a man I was gonna spray my room like they do in the store and my clothes whatever so I could smell like it and this is the exact replica replic replica smell of that so mahogany teakwood I don't know um, if Abercrombie gave them the rights to their smell, but it definitely smells like that. So you should check it out. And these are actually not cheap. These are $20. But I believe if you go now, they're going to have like a sale of some sort. If it's like buy one, get one half off, something like that. So it's still really good. They each end up being like $15, which isn't bad. And I do love the triple wick because um, they burn evenly. And I hate it when, the, when candles only come with one wick. And it's like... You're trying to be like maneuvering it all different ways so you can get this um, get the candle to go down evenly. So that stinks, but um, White Barn Candle Company does a good job with that. Okay, and then the last two are mini ones because these were on sale, and these were two sets that I was hesitant to try, but I wanted to try it and give it a go anyways. And I got the Plum Wine Amber, again, me with my wine. It's not like I'm going to get drunk in my bathroom, but unfortunately not. But this is a really cute packaging, too. Um, ooh, it smells really good. If, it just its exactly what it sounds, says Plum Wine Amber. It has those three ingredients. And um, this one only has one wick, but I feel like if it had three, that would kind of be overkill. So this one is pretty okay because it would probably die down evenly. And um, this was um, $10 without it being on sale. But then again, I got it on sale. Okay, and then the last one I actually got a little container for because these containers were just so cute to not pass up. Like, um, I am going to put it in my bathroom in the corner with like a little candle display trifecta deal. But this had um, a couple different designs. The other ones looked a little bit too boho-y or like... I don't know, like costumey design. So I tried to get one that was kind of year round, and this one is the leaves. Not only is it fall and autumn, uh, the leaves are kind of just they um, carry into all other seasons too. So that's why I got this because you can kind of it won't look out of place if it turns into spring. <laughs> and the, what I put in it, you're gonna love this because this is a pun. Um, I put in the leaves candle, so now you know. Um, well, now I know when whatever I'm smelling is the leaves because it's in the leaves um, container. And um, the picture of it is just says leaves. It's on a bridge. And again, $10. Um, that little container was not necessary, but it was just too darn cute. I had to, had to pick it up. And the leaves does smell really good. It smells like if you walk into Michael's or Joanne craft stores, like right now, it probably smells like that. Or Hobby Lobby. It smells like leaves. So... Really, really homey, like you just stepped out of a Pottery Barn magazine onto the red, red brick road. That's what it smells like. Um, so yeah, that concludes the haul. I think I did pretty good today. Um, it's just been collecting in my corner. I've been kind of honestly sick of looking at it and um, just I've been not in the mood to, to put on makeup and I know like it's kind of required that you have to look presentable like you're talking to people on YouTube. So. That's why I tried to make an effort in my outfit before I went shopping. So um, that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed my um, YouTube video today. I'm trying, trying, trying with all my might that I update my blog. But you can find my blog at chicamillipad.com. I'm also on Instagram to make it really easy for you. And Pinterest, um, it's also chicamillipad. So yeah, and then don't forget to check out my Facebook like page. It's facebook.com slash chicamillipad. So thank you guys so much, and I hope you guys have a great one rest of the week and wonderful weather. Bye!